My name is Carly Bible, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to do the perfect lip. So step number one is going to be lip liner. So I'm really excited because today I'm using one from my brand new collection. This one is in my opinion, the most perfect nude lip liner that is great for every skin tone. It's like a cool tone brown. This one is called Luna. And some people wonder like why lip liner? In my opinion, it just makes the lips look more sharp and more defined. So you can line your lips right on your natural lip line or if you wanna make them a little bit more plump, you can go right above it. So a little tip if you want to overline them, if you follow your natural lip line and just slowly go right above it, that's what I would recommend. And do it slow, take your time with it. And then what I like to do next is, especially if you are overlining, you wanna uh, shade in a little bit as well and it's gonna add some more dimension. And just shade it in a little bit, make that line a little bit thicker. I'll just do it like right around the edges, never in the center because we want to highlight the center of the lips because that also will help them look a little bit larger. I personally love matte lipstick. So this is the color Libra. So I'm just gonna apply this all over my lips. You just need a little bit. You don't have to go too heavy on it. So then my secret tip next is to go back in with the liner and kind of go and reshade the places that you had just previously done. That way it's gonna give an ombre look to your lips. So repeat the same steps. And you can just like kind of dab it in and kind of blend it together if you feel the line is a little bit too harsh. So step number three would be a lip gloss. The one that I am using today is Supernova, which is this really pretty like multi-dimensional purple. And most people would probably think purple. Why would I want to put a purple gloss on? But wait till you see. So you're just gonna want to apply it right on the center. A little bit right on your cupid's bow. And then same thing with your finger, you can just dab it in a little bit. And you can see how it just adds so much dimension to the lips. It kind of even changes the color of the lip as well, which is really cool. So this combination I absolutely love. I wear it all the time. I feel like that purple gloss, the way it hits the light, it just adds like this pretty like multi-dimensional finish and I'm obsessed with it. So what I like to do is I always like to keep my lip products in my purse with me throughout the day. That way, during the day, if I feel like doing like a pink gloss, I can use that. And then when I go out at night, I can switch it up and maybe use the purple one or the nude one. So it's really cool when you see how the gloss can really change the final look. So if you want to switch it up from day to night, you have that option. So this is the final result. Just three easy steps to get the perfect lip at home. I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you so much for watching. Is it good? Does it look good? Yeah? Mom? Yeah, no, it's fine. <laughs> God. <laughs>